Hey guys, it's Milo back again with another video, and if you guys ever wondered how to lag less in Minecraft and get more FPS, then this is the right video for you. I'm going to show you guys how to lag less using vanilla Minecraft only, and then I'm going to show you guys how to install Optifine, and that will optimize Minecraft for your computer, and I'll show you guys all the settings to tweak it. So if you like this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me, but without further ado, let's get straight into the video. So right now I'm in Minecraft and I'm going to show you guys how to get the vanilla Minecraft to work the best and optimize it. And I am using a brand new version of Minecraft so my settings should look relatively like yours. So what you want to do is go into settings, go to video settings, and then you'll see these options. So if you want your graphics to look worse but to get more FPS, then you're going to want to put your graphics on fast. It will sacrifice quality but... If you do have a bad computer, then I really recommend optimizing it. So now we're going to go over to smooth lighting, and there's three different options. And if you have a decent computer, then minimum might be best. But if you have a pretty bad computer, then I would recommend turning it off. This actually will make Minecraft look a lot worse visually, but it will noticeably increase your FPS. Second, you want to turn VSync off because that actually kind of messes with your computer and it does sacrifice some frame rate. But if you're experiencing visual issues like screen tearing, then I would recommend turning on VSync. Um, but yeah, you should turn that off if you want to get more FPS. The higher you turn up your render distance, the laggier it will be. So I think 10 chunks is pretty reasonable if you want to get good FPS. But if you want to get mediocre, then maybe 12 or 13. And then for frame rate, you want to put it 10 FPS over your screen's refresh rate. So, you know, the normal is 144, 60 hertz, or 240 hertz. Most of you guys will probably have a 60 hertz monitor, so then you'd put it to 70 FPS. But if you have a 144 hertz monitor, then you probably want to put it to like 160 or 150. And then you want to make particles decreased. Make sure your clouds are off or on fast mode. Uh, turn off entity shadows. But that's really if you want to get the maximum FPS. Turning on Entity Shadows shouldn't really be too much of a big deal. But you know, you want to squeeze out all of the FPS you guys can get. So right now I'm starting up a new creative world just to show you guys what kind of FPS you'll be getting. I do have a very good computer, but this is what the graphics are going to be looking like. As you can see, the leaves don't look as good and the shadows look a bit blocky. But you know, you gotta sacrifice something to gain something. And in this case, we are sacrificing our graphics so we can get more FPS. So if I pull up F3, you can see I'm getting about 150 FPS, which is what I set it to. But right now I'm gonna go and look at Unlimited and see what FPS I'm getting. Uh, that's almost 400 FPS. Yeah, that's really good. As we move around, it looks like we're getting about 300, 260, but that's definitely enough for most people. So now we're gonna go and move on, and I'm gonna show you guys how to get more FPS using Optifine. To install Optifine, you're first gonna wanna install Forge. So just type in Forge in any kind of search engine, and we're gonna look at Forge download, then click Minecraft Forge, and we're gonna wanna press installer. So we're gonna be taken to an ad site, and then we're gonna wanna press skip, and then download our file. Then we're gonna put it on our desktop and we're gonna left click on it and make sure it says open with open JDK platform binary or Java or anything like that. And if you don't have that option, then you're gonna wanna go on the web and search up Java, like Java 9 I think, and then you're gonna wanna download that or you're gonna install Java fix and that's gonna fix your issue. So we're gonna left click on this and then install it by pressing okay and there's all these numbers so it's doing something and this is actually installing it to our minecraft as a profile okay so it successfully installed it so let's just go to minecraft real quick and we can see that there actually is a forge file right there and that's exactly what we want to see so now that we have that forge opened up we're just going to go to our web browser and search up optifine and then click on the first website click downloads and preview versions and then we're going to select 1.15.2 and then click mirror for the most recent update and it's going to open this up just click on that and then we're going to see that it says it may harm our computer just press keep because it won't harm it 
And then we can drag that onto our desktop once it's done downloading and it's right there. So now we're gonna go to this type here to search bar and type in run and then percent app data percent inside of this box. Just copy exactly what I wrote, press okay. And then we're gonna see our files up here and we'll see dot Minecraft. We're gonna double click on that, double click on mods. And then all you gotta do is drag and drop Optifine into there. And as you can see, I already have Optifine installed, which is definitely a good sign. So now let's just go back to Minecraft, click play, and then we're gonna wait for it to open up. So now that we have Minecraft opened up, we're gonna go to options and then go to video settings. And the first thing we're gonna look at is performance. So we're gonna wanna make sure dynamic updates are on, lazy chunk loading is on, all of these are on. And the only thing we have off is fast render. And now we're gonna go over to quality. And if you really want the best performance, then you can just turn all of this stuff off. So natural textures off, custom colors, better snow, all blah, blah, blah. All of these options make your game look better. But you know, we're optimizing for performance, guys. Okay, I just went ahead and I turned everything off. So Minecraft is gonna look pretty terrible, but we gotta focus on what we need right now. And what we need is the most FPS possible. So turn off dynamic lights, go to shaders, and turn off shaders if you had any installed, because shaders are just gonna slow it down, you know? Now details, we're gonna turn off all of these details. Okay, so as you can see, I turned off everything, but obviously this is a little bit overkill because this will end up making Minecraft not look very good. So if you want Minecraft to look a bit better, then you can keep these on. And depending on how good your FPS is, you can like change these settings. I'm not saying that everybody should do exactly what I'm doing. So now animations, we're just gonna turn all of them off because who needs animations, you know? So I'm making sure everything is checked off perfectly and it looks like we have all the settings set pretty well. So guys, like I said, you don't need to turn everything off, but that's the most severe case of scenario. I really don't recommend turning these off unless if you're really getting terrible FPS. So now let's just go and see how much FPS we're getting. Okay, so now that I'm in a game, it looks like we're getting about 200 FPS consistently. We're dipping under 200, but that's definitely gonna be enough for most people. So it does seem like the FPS isn't as good as before, and that might be because I turned off a bit too many blocks. So depending on your computer, your game might react a bit differently, so I would recommend playing with the settings a bit, but I definitely would say that 200 FPS is enough for most people. I know some people have 240 hertz monitors, but that is a tiny bit overkill in my opinion. So as you can see, it looks like we are staying pretty high up with the FPS but um, it's possible that me turning off all of those settings have actually made Minecraft worse. So as you guys can see, we don't have a sky, we don't have a sun, so you might wanna turn that back on because that is probably not affecting the FPS too much, but um, yeah, 239 I just saw, that is very good. Um, so yeah guys, this is basically how to optimize your Minecraft. And I recommend going in all the settings just to balance the graphics with the FPS. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys like this video, then please feel free to like and subscribe. It really means a lot to me. And peace out, guys. Thank you for watching.